Hello, friend. I'm here at the Branson Meadows Cinema, and uh, there's a line to get in. I just got my injection, and uh, I'm gonna have to wait in line to get my ticket. They said they open at 2.30, and they're giving away a free cup that, um, see, there's the cinema. It's finally opening after being closed for so many years. And they're giving away a cup that you can get free refills, but there's only a limited amount available. And uh, so I'm gonna wait in line. I'm gonna go see the North Man, but uh, keep watching. Okay, friends, so there was a line wrapped around the building and uh, it, it opened up just a few minutes after I got there. I got there right about at show, at opening time and uh, the line went in and then there was four lines inside the theater. And of course I got in the slowest line and but I was able to get my ticket. I got my ticket. The movie starts at 450 for the North Man. And I got my cup. I got my free refills cup. Free fountain refills in this cup through December 31st, 2022. And they had Coke Zero in the in the fountain. And I think that's awesome that they have a fountain in the lobby so you can get your own refills. That's really smart of them and really cool feature. I got some coupons too for like uh, Shoji and some restaurant coupons. IMAX. Buy one, get one free at the IMAX. So I got coupons. And uh, I'm about to go to Bob Evans. Every time I get my injection, I eat breakfast at Bob Evans. So I'm gonna have breakfast at Bob Evans and then come back for the movie. So keep watching. Okay, friends, so here I am at Bob Evans. And uh, I'm gonna try something new. Normally I just get the chicken fried steak breakfast, but I'm gonna try something new today. And I'm really excited to see the Northman. I don't I haven't seen a trailer. I don't know much about it other than I heard it described as like an artsy fartsy Conan the Barbarian. And I think it's about Vikings and stuff, and I think it's A24. So I'm really excited, and let's go in Bob Evans now, and I'll look at the menu and order something new. So keep watching.
Hello, uh, Bob Evans was delicious. It was a great breakfast. I loved it. I'm at the movie theater now. The movie's about to start. I'm kind of running late. And of course, I'll bring my cup so I can get a free refill. And I'm really excited to see the Northman, so stick around and I'll let you know what I thought. Okay, friend, I just got out of the Northman at um, Branson Meadows Cinema, and I really enjoyed it. It was a really well-made movie. It was very violent. Um, it had good nudity. It was, um... It was a little too long, like it's two hours, 17 minutes, and I wish it would have just been 90 minutes at the start of the third act. I was starting to get a little bored with it, but then I got back into it, but there was some parts where it just seemed to drag and was too long, but overall a really great movie. Think like death wish but with vikings it's like all about revenge and this young kid sees his dad murdered and his mom kidnapped and vows revenge and then becomes a like super deadly killing machine viking and uh just goes travels all over to get revenge against his uncle and uh like i say there's some really brutal kills there was one kill and i don't want to describe it i don't want to give anything away but it was like one of the best i've seen in a long time it was just so brutal and so violent and uh just a really violent movie. Um, it, it also captured a lot of like uh, Viking mythology and magic. So there was a lot of weird stuff in it too, like seers and witches and Valkyries and hell and Odin. And it had a lot of like mythological stuff mixed in with all of the violence. And uh, it was really well made well acted the fight choreography was great it had like long fights it wasn't there wasn't like editing foo like you see in a lot of the superhero movies this had like actual fight choreography and well designed um fighting in it and uh it's really worth seeing on the big screen the like the screen didn't fit the, the picture didn't fit the screen it didn't go that wide I guess there was like extra screen after the picture was projected and I'm not sure why that was but it was still an awesome movie and uh, definitely really cool and a good movie I recommend it. I looked up the director. He directed The Witch and that movie The Lighthouse. I still need to see, but I haven't seen. But The Witch was really good. This movie was really good. Um, highly recommend it. Definitely check it out. And I'm trying to figure out if I want to go play a few games of pinball or not. I guess I better go play some pinball so stick around keep watching i'll show you a little bit of the arcade and i'm just so happy that um branson meadows cinema is back after being closed for so long and now i got my refillable cup which is good for refills until the end of the year so i totally plan on going to the movies a lot more now that it's so close and uh, I got this cup, so I'm real stoked and keep watching.
Okay, friends, so I'm back home now. It's getting dark. The sun's going down, and uh, I ended up playing Star Trek pinball at um, 1984 Arcade, and did pretty good. Didn't get a free game, but hit a lot of ramps. It was a fun machine. And I got a letter, somebody requested an autographed glossy photo, but it was returned to sender, Garrett Keezer in Portage, Michigan. Your letter was returned. And a lot of people, when I asked them to give me their mailing address, do a really poor job. And they like either won't include their name or won't include the zip code or whatever. So try and do better when you like give me your address so I can send you your signed glossy photo. And also be sure and smash the join button so you can see my movies and uh, be part of my movie career. And uh, thanks so much. And please comment, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, share because sharing is caring, but definitely smash the join button. And thanks so much. It was a wonderful day. I really had a lot of fun today. So thanks for coming along.